Yo, what's up everyone? It's your boy. Welcome back to the video. Today's video, brand new series. Brand new series. Trip Gaming versus Team Samurai X1. In epic battles of everything. Yu-Gi-Oh, Master Duel, bodybuilding, push-up challenges, fights, who knows? But today, we have challenge number one. And that is a Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel. So let's get started. If this is your first time here, make sure to smash the subscribe, smash the like button. Also, make sure to get me to Trip Gaming playmats on TripGaming.com. And let's get straight into Triff versus Sam, episode one. Let's go. Triff versus Sam, battle of the two goats, baby. Who's gonna win? This is actually the beginning of our new series. As I mentioned, this is going to be super, super cool. Now, don't mind the glare. I'm going to switch the lighting completely where the lighting will, uh, there will be no more glare. But, guys, this match is going to be absolutely epic. This is Triff Gaming versus Team Summer X1. We're going to be partaking in hundreds of different challenges, duels, everything. This is duel number one where I am playing Adventure Sprite, the best deck. Look, I just got Ash. Like, my Enchantress got Ash. My Toad got Ve or my uh, Toad got Crowed. It's okay. It doesn't matter. Look, look, we're still putting up serious interruptions. That's the beauty of this deck. It's the fact that this, or I think, sorry, my enchantress got crowed, my prospect got ashed, whatever it may be. This is just insane. Like, this is just insane. Through Ash and Crow, and we're still setting up Toad with Shadal Shizm. Like, that, that is insane. This deck is crazy. Through all of that. Through Ash and Crow, double hand trap, nice. We still have Shadal Shizum, and we still have Totally Awesome. Absolutely fantastic. In the standby, I will use Toad Effect to bring out another Toad. This does play into Super Poly, it does, yes. But I do have Shadal Shizum, so he'd be left with two cards in his hand, and we'd still be in a winning position, so it's okay. It was around this point where I recognized that the, the, there was some glare, so I'm actually going to switch the lighting right now to a much better glare. Look at this. I'm all for the people, bro. I recognize this. Milano recognized this. Uh, so we're going to uh, put another light on. This on. No more glare. GG. That's what we do. That's what we do, baby. We fix things. And we play pendulums. That's it. While we're testing here which looks better with this glare or that glare. We're looking which one's better. Definitely notice a glare with that. So we just have to turn that light off. Boom. Just like that. Fix the solution. Fix the problem. So here's going to go to Beckoning Beast Special Carrot. Uh, he is going to go special blue. I'm going to, I believe I negate the blue here. I'm thinking, like, I have Kushinal Shizum at any moment. I play around the Call by the Grave by sending Swap Frog. If you guys notice that play over there. So I'm just playing, I played around Call by the Grave. I use the fact now of that to special jet uh, to add this. At this point, I recognize a slight mistake that uh, I lose to, like, I, he goes jet. And then I instantly with jet, I'm like, all right, I have Shadal Shizum. I'm just waiting. Like, I'm like, what, like, I'm not even using it. I, I know when to use Shadal Shizum. Okay, so he goes Jet. I'm like, this is fine. I'm still waiting. Uh, I probably should have done it earlier. Like, if I did, if I use Shadal Shizum, uh, get rid of the Backening Beast, going special once more, it puts myself in a way better position. I don't know what's in his hand. Uh, so he brings out Care, brings out Red. He feels very safe in this scenario. I'm making sure my setup is perfect. I could have done it earlier, would have stopped him 100% because now you can negate it with the thing. But look at this. I'm going to go Shadal Shizum. Uh, and then I'm going to, uh, after that, I'm going to bring up Care uh, Red. And there's no scenario he can win here. I uh, have so many negates. I could have done this so much better as well. But, like, I didn't really care. I knew what I had. He's just thinking what he wants to get rid of. He opts instead to uh, get rid of this. So Shizum is off the field because obviously next time I get his window. And uh, he knows how to play starter. And I know everything he has. There's no answer he could win. Uh, there's nothing whatsoever. I, I go this to bring out red. Uh, there's, there's just no answer. E even if he Zeus is, like, all this was planned. I have follow-up and everything. This was all planned. Completely planned. Uh, I could have also brought out a double toad. But I knew I was going to win. There's, there's just no way to win to lose there. So game one is in the books. We win game one. Now we're going to go on to game number two. And this match, you know, Sam's learning. He's playing well. He's playing good. This is all fantastic. Uh, pen best deck, man. Splite best deck. And on top of that, he did starters. So you can't even go into this. So, pen best deck, boys. What can I say? So, at this point, uh, he's uh, going to be siding into his cards. I'm going to be siding into mine. In my opinion, the best cards to side into against the Splite deck is all board breakers. Like, doesn't matter. the Like, think of the board that they set up, right? They really only have one spell, Trap Negate. It's just totally awesome. I understand there's Carrot. And it's also, so, there's potential for Carrot and Toad. Typically, it's Carrot and Toad. Uh, I understand Elf uh, can bring back Toad, but if you're not going to have a monster in the field, they can't bring back Toad to be another spell. Trap Negate. So, if you just literally Regeki twice, it's over. 
You get what I'm saying? Now, I don't use cards like Regeki. I use cards like Evenly Match and Lightning Storm because I fear their back row more than their monsters. I use cards like Dark Ruler, like Droplets, stuff that they can't respond to. So if you draw two of these cards, right, and if you have 15 of them in your deck, which you're going to see two of them easily, uh, your opponent's cooked. Uh, so look at this. So we're, you can look at Sam's hand here a bit. He has Super Poly. He has Ash Blossom, I think. No, that was red. So he has Super Poly. He has the full setup. I think it's Starter. He has Prosperity. He has, he has a full setup here. I don't care doesn't matter because i know what's in my head i have all board breakers so you're going to see here now how hand traps work and how board breakers work and all this works so he's going to prosp uh six cards get revealed here uh he opts to get the jet that tells me that he does not have a jet or a blue let's look into his hand if he sees so we could uh, talk into this a little bit so he goes jet i saw super poly that's all i saw uh he's gonna go starter uh so he's gonna go starter here starter effect uh, i believe i have smashers as well before that, he's going to go into Gigantic Sprite. Sprite's going to get Swap Frog. And he's going to set up the full board. Now, this is a great learning lesson for all of you guys. The learning lesson is very simple. It's the idea here that uh, he could have... Uh, let's say I had Hand Traps in hand. Okay, I wasn't asking for Prosperity, no shot. Let's say I had I ha Hand Trapped the Jet. If he Prosperity for six and gets a Jet, that tells me he really wants the Jet. So I Hand Trapped the Jet in that scenario, then what? It doesn't matter. Like, he could, like he'll just keep playing. He negates it with his a carrot or a red. I hand trap the carrot or red. All right. The gigantic spite full combo. That's a double hand trap full combo. And if you had any other spite, it's double hand trap to th uh, full combo versus three hand traps. So instead, I'm going to show you guys what's a much better scenario to do instead is uh, see, I let him summon out the thing. I dark roller. I enter battle phase. Literally, like. The easiest fucking strategy in the universe. Literally, I can't stress this enough. It's not brain dead. It's just genius. Like, it's just a great meta call. Okay? It doesn't it didn't even need to be dark with it. It could have been Forbidden Chalice, bro. It could have been literally fucking Widow Anchor. Uh, Widow Anchor the Toad enter battle phase. Uh, before I dark roller, he's just thinking if he wants to do anything else. Uh, if he wants to activate a spell card, potentially use Elf to bring something else out in the graveyard. But it, it just, it, this doesn't matter. There's not much stuff he could do in this scenario. Uh, he, I think he has Starter Smashers, Starter Smashers, Super Poly set up. This is what I think he has. So if I just go Dark Roller here, he, 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 so I know he has, yeah, he has Starter Smashers, Super Poly. Uh, so in the start step of Battle Phase, he's going to use Starter to bring out a uh, Jet, bring out things. This tells me he sided out the Carrot. Or, no, Carrot's in the graveyard. He started out with Carrot, so he's not actually able to to negate the evenly which is even better so he does this to get a follow-up with starter i go battle phase i'm going to evenly everything he, he's going to keep the super poly so now he's going to have super poly starter so he still has super poly to hopefully to survive uh and i'm gonna have four cards versus super poly uh that's fine literally right of Hermes here faithful look at this like like people that don't play right of Hermes here you guys are fucking high bro you need to play adventures in sprite it's just mandatory and i'm gonna bounce that and now we can have my full combo full combo and he has he's gonna swap his swap frog super poly and things all i gotta do now is just put up the most possible human amount of interruptions i'm gonna this is also why you need to play another beautiful part about this engine is that the capability of playing a, uh water enchantress which gives you access to Celine, access to access code access to iria because it's a water to take your opponent is totally awesome so it is a bunch of reasons why you want to play this so here i'm gonna iria take is totally awesome get a free negate and i'm gonna take uh so I went to Iria, not Elf. Then I got to Iria and the Splite into another Splite Elf. Set up a triple negate here after with four after breaking up, breaking his entire board. Setting up triple negate with insane follow-up. Two cards in hand. Actually quadruple negate. Five negates. Actually, I have five negates here. Uh with uh Elf bringing back insane follow-up. Fateful giving me insane follow-up. Draco back bouncing the first card he has. Double totally awesome, giving me two cards in my hand with even more follow-up. I'm going to have three fucking cards in my... I'm going to have four cards in my hand to start my turn, despite having zero right now. And Sam's going to have to deal with five negates. Uh, he, he's super polys. I literally expected this. That was set. Doesn't matter. He's boxing the Garura. That's the Garura. Doesn't matter. I'm going to add Iria back so I can steal his Toad again next turn. And Alp is going to bring back the Toad. Like It just doesn't matter. Like, like Despite getting super poly, it doesn't matter at all. Uh, so next, uh, I'm going to be... Okay, I know he has Garura. I'm going to... Splite starter over here uh, to bring up blue, blue to get pixies because he said enter battle phase. So this is in the battle phase, in the battle phase. Y'all see that play? In the battle phase. I let him waste his battle phase. 
go blue at Pixies, making an incredible interruption, not allowing him to out my Pixies because he'd super played in the battle phase, so he, as he should, as he should. So just like that, I mean, thanks to Pixies in the deck, uh, it didn't mean anything. So uh, damage step, I do this. He does this so he can draw, and uh, there's just nothing he can do. Uh, the second he summons a monster, I'm going to outbreak back Toad. I still have Toad, Griffin, and my set uh, interruption. I think it was droplets. GG. Let's go. Match one goes to the Pen God. Match round two. Match two in a few days. Let's go.